So what's our kitchen look like in the great outdoors? Let's talk about it. What's up guys, welcome to the Kuba Kitchen Journey. And this is a little bit different of a video. We're actually going camping next weekend and I figured uh, I would take a moment to share with you how we do that, what our kitchen looks like, what our kit looks like um, when we go to the great outdoors. Now, when I say the great outdoors, uh, I mean a reservoir local to us that is, um, it's not exactly roughing it, though it is primitive camping. We don't have power. Uh, and so I just wanted to go ahead and show you what we bring when we go. And I'm going to start here with our Blackstone. Now, this is actually pretty big. The reason we got this, this is a 28 inch griddle, is because uh, we have church retreats. Uh, that's actually why we bought it the first time is we had a church retreat and I wanted something that was big enough to make eggs for like 50 people. And uh, we used to take the little green cook stoves or the little grills and we just said, you know what? This is small enough, this is portable enough that we can live with this. And so this is what we take. It does have the two burners. One of the things we did buy for it recently is these little sides that go on here because of the open nature of the flame in the bottom. Uh, if you get wind, it just sucks so much energy out. And the other thing that we made actually uh, was lids and they make black stones that have a cover, but because of the bow on them, they're a lot harder to store uh, or they're a lot harder to transport. We throw this in the back of the truck and want to be able to put stuff on top. So what we did is we took baking sheets. These are metal baking sheets. And then we bought uh, just magnets that pop right on there. And we have these lids. You can get these things at the dollar store, not the dollar store, like a thrift store for a dollar. And we got two of these magnets for $10 on Amazon. And we have uh, lids that are low profile, they stay low and they're flat. So it's easy to stack stuff on top. So those are the additions that we purchased. It does come with legs and wheels, but we never take them. Uh, we decided the hassle of taking it down and putting it back up, it's always better for us to just keep it on a table and then we'll just put it on, uh, a, we'll put it on the picnic table when we go camping, camping. So this is what we cook with. This is the Blackstone 28 inch griddle. It's also the main griddle we use at home and we love it. You could probably use something smaller if you're not wanting to be able to feed 50 people like we do. We're, when we're going camping next weekend, we're taking a bunch of college students. There'll be probably 20 of us there. And so it just makes sense for us to have something bigger than maybe you would need. Uh, our new addition to our repertoire is this Arctic cooler. This is a 65 quart and we actually have two of these. One is white and one is tan. Uh, we use one for all of our meats and then one for uh, drinks and, and other items that we want to maybe keep separate. And this was an investment that my wife and I said last year that uh, we said next year we are buying some decent coolers. Uh, so these are kind of an off brand of the Yetis uh, and they're significantly cheaper. We got two of them for less than $500 and for a Yeti that's comparable, you're going to get one of them for $500. We haven't tested it out yet, so I can't say whether it's amazing or not, uh, but we do have two of these guys. And then the next thing I want to talk about is our water supply. So we typically use one or two of these. We actually had one of these break on us. Where we go camping, uh, we have a well that's really close to us. So we're not really worried about keeping a ton of water uh, on our campsite, but we do keep one of these filled. The well is gonna keep the water cooler than you know any of these water coolers. So we typically just fill our bottle straight from there. But we do keep one bottle uh, for that need. And then if we ever go camping somewhere where we need more water, we actually have a five gallon water jug and a pump. Now this is a pump that sits on top of here and you uh, pump the top of it and it works really well. And actually, if you want warmer water, you wanna keep water warmer for doing dishes, this works really well because it's clear, it heats up fast and uh, you don't have to boil your water if you want warmer water to dishes. We don't use this very often, so we don't keep it in our main kit, but we can take it if we need to. Uh, now we're going to move on to our uh, our tools or what we keep in what I call my kitchen tote. All right, let's get this out of the way down the side. And actually, before we move into my kitchen tote, I do want to talk about gas as well. We use uh, this, I think it's a 20 pound tank. Um, while the coolers were my purchase for this year, next year I'm planning on getting an 11 gallon or maybe even a five or 11 pound or maybe even a five pound tank because we don't ever, even when we're cooking for a lot of people, we don't need something this big. No, we travel with the boat with us and so we can pack a lot of stuff. The trailer back there is my brother-in-law's and sister-in-law's, that's not ours. Um, we camp in tents. So I think next year I'm gonna get a smaller one of these, but we have plenty of space and so taking this isn't a problem. So let's get into our kitchen tote. Now what you see here, is my entire kitchen. 
Everything that I need when I'm camping, I keep in here. I have a packing list right here that says everything that I need to pack all the way from, well, it says walk, but I don't use a walk anymore, uh, all the way down to the utility pump, which can fit in here. That's this thing, this water pump right here. It can fit in here if I rearrange things and make it better stacked, but since I don't use it, I have a little bit more flex space. So we're just gonna go through and show you everything that I take. This is a Pampered Chef collapsible bowl. I don't think they make this anymore. My wife could correct me on this. Super convenient. Uh, we cook a lot of eggs and we can mix those up in there or when we do watermelon at the later in the day, we'll cut up our watermelon and put it in there. We can clean it and pop it down and it's nice and collapsible. This is the only mixing bowl that we keep. In terms of cookware, this is the only cookware we take. There is a lid right here, and this is a Pampered Chef enameled cast iron uh, Dutch oven. It can heat up on here, but we throw it in the fire, and it turns ridiculously black. Uh, uh, people that are watching that want this to stay pretty, I'm sorry, we don't keep it pretty. Uh, we use the Dawn Power Spray stuff on it, and get, it gets nice and clean. Um, but this is the only thing we cook in, so if we have uh, baked beans is something that we're pretty common with, or if we want to make a stew or a roast or uh, anything that needs to be cooked not on a flat top, it has to be cooked in here. It's the only thing we take. We cook macaroni and cheese in here too because that's always a fun challenge to do while you're camping is macaroni and cheese. What I keep inside of here is trash bags. I take, these are uh, 13 gallon kitchen trash bags. I roll them up there and throw them in there. Uh, I take plastic baggies. The primary purpose for this is leftovers and for fish because when I catch fish, I want to make sure I have uh, plastic baggies to put them in. And then I keep these Walmart grocery sacks. These primarily are for fish guts. So when I go down to the water uh, or if I'm at the fish clean, you know, we don't have a fish cleaning station where I go. So we clean the fish down by the water and they don't like you throwing the guts and stuff in there. And so we put our fish guts in here. And then I have a hot pad, which is great because uh, everything gets hot. The Dutch oven lid gets hot. The handle for this, um, this Blackstone lid gets hot. So you gotta have a hot bag. That's the stuff that I store in there. I have the Noble Kitchen Sponge along with a small thing of dish soap. Uh, we do our dishes while we're there and so we got to have that stuff. Paper towels and or napkins. These are, this is all we take for those rolls. So uh, we don't have napkins with us. We use paper towels for everything in that regard. Plasticware. I waffle back and forth. I'd like to know your opinion. Drop in the comments below when you camp. Do you use plasticware and disposables or do you lean towards the more environmentally friendly uh, real plates and real silverware? Because we do have real plates that we could bring on our camping stuff, but we opt to use paper plates, which are good fire starters and plasticware. I go back and forth on that. Right now we have plasticware and paper plates in our kitchen tote. A cutting board super important to have. Used to use the flexible Pampered Chef one, but this one uh, is more sturdy if I'm cleaning fish down by the water. It's just a better thing to have. I take two, well, three knives. I take two kitchen knives with me. I take the tomato knife and the chef's knife. They uh, fulfill every purpose that I need them to fill if I'm cooking meat or steak. Um, what we'll do is we'll pre-cut everything. So you cut everything on the stove and then you take your pre-cut meat on your plate. Uh, that way you're not trying to cut steak or something uh, with your on your paper plate. And then we have our cups. Uh, I do take real plastic cu cups. Uh, you know, for drinking water, these don't need to be washed every time we use them. And so we take our plastic cups. Our can opener, if you watched my 10 or five Pamper Chef items that I don't particularly think are worth it, the Pamper Chef can opener is one of them. So we got it for free and I keep it in my camp tote because uh, in terms of what I use at home, I like the one I have here better. So I take this one camping with me. Uh, Pampered Chef tongs, I take these with me every time we go. They're nice that they're good and collapsible and they don't fling open when you don't want them to. And then a spatula, I do like, what I love about this spatula uh, versus other kinds of spatulas when you have a black stone is you want something that when you set it down, it's gonna stand on its own with the handle up. Now the handle on this is a little too short. I've been thinking about maybe getting a longer one that can still stay vertical when I want it to. I know Blackstone sells one like that. Um, if you're cooking a lot of hamburgers and you're flipping, your hands can get a little burned here. But for the sake that it, it stands up like this, I really like this and I'm not trading it until I get a better one. Uh, the other knife that I briefly mentioned is my flay knife. Uh, again, we like to go fishing. We like fish. I like fish. And so I got to have a good fillet knife. 
Aluminum foil, this is the magic fish cooking item when we're camping. Uh, I'll, I'll wrap my uh, catfish, my crappie or bluegill or whatever I'm having, I'll wrap it in foil with some butter and spices. And then um, I have my lighter here. I keep one of these in my tool tote, which I'm not showing today. And I keep one in my kitchen tote because I always wanna make sure I have a lighter. And then right now I have plastic knives in here, um, but I don't typically use those. Uh, what I usually use for camping is we'll eat a lot of hot dogs, we'll eat a lot of burritos. I actually tend to take tortillas instead of bread because you can do almost anything with a tortilla, you can do with a bread, but it keeps better in the heat of the day. And so I bring tortillas and then we eat a lot of things that can be you know, handled and don't need knives. But right now I do have knives in there. So that is my kitchen collection. Let me know what I left out. If you can think of things that I should be taking or if you can think of something that maybe I should be doing differently, make sure you drop a comment down below. If you like this content, make sure you click that little notification bell and that like button. It really does make a huge big difference with the YouTube algorithm and I would love to drive more people to this kind of content. So if you like what you see, click that like button. If you want to see more about my camping stuff, if you want to see me go through my tool tote or something like that, drop a comment down below. With that, we'll see you guys in the next video. Love you.